Now, we've reached the final part of our audience award and our final two contenders, after which we'll reveal the winner. As if by magic, we welcome back Sanjeev Kohli. <laughs> yes, so these are the last two contenders. Now, Outlander. Now, what can I say about Outlander? The juggernaut that is Outlander. It's a historical time-travelling drama based on the novels by Diana Gabaldon. It showcases, show, yeah, it showcases Scottish history even to an international market. It's hugely successful. It's about to start filming its sixth series and I still haven't been asked to audition for it yet. If I were to sum up how successful it's been, I would say this. I have met people who have actually moved to Scotland just to get a glimpse of Sam Hewen's knees. That is the pull <laughs> of Outlander. And finally, River City. What can I say about River City? It's a historical time-travelling drama based on the novels by Diana Gabble. I'm just joking, of course. It is Scotland's continuing drama set in the fictional Shield Inch. We are currently filming series number 22, and it's hard for me to objective about this because, uh, well, my uncle's nephew's in this. Me. But I can tell you that I am very lucky to work with some of the best talent in this country on either side of the camera in every department. If I were to sum up how successful River City has been, I would say this. I met people who have actually moved to Scotland just to get a glimpse of my knees. That is the pull <laughs> of River City. Shall we take a look? I think we should. Possibly at your knees? I Let's hope so. see. Audience Award in partnership with Screen Scotland. Outlander. The show is about life. Family. Travelling through time. Changing history. Every season we try and put it into one sentence and it's near impossible because Outlander is so much, you know, it's this action romance adventure. At the heart of the story there is this beautiful aspirational love story. That love story is central to the whole core of it. None of the other characters would have been dragged into that kind of vortex. I ken what love can make a man do. River City. We've done camera tests where we get the characters walking together, talking together as if it looks like they're in the same um, frame, but they're not. So it's one that's shot safely and then someone else that's shot safely. So we're doing green screen. We've got actors working with tennis balls who are the eye line. So things have changed and the actors have to be far more technical now than they were before. We've only done one scene so far, uh, and it was in the Murdoch's flat, so it feels strange that we're, we are strictly two metres apart, but once you start the scene, it's, it's back to doing the same thing. Um, and it's, it's great to be back. I have just cremated my father, and you decide to drop a bombshell. I'm sorry. You really are a piece of work, Steve. You are the only person I have ever met who would think that someone saying that they love you is a bad thing. What am I supposed to do with it? Pack any one of your suitcases and head off into the sunset. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. I just came back to check my crumble had cooled. Maybe one you could stick it in the fridge. Oh, what a great line. It's lovely to see the, a, a bit of an insight into the productions and how it's working, you know, not the norm. No. The new norm, really, for now, anyway. No, we started back filming in August, and uh, the, I'm amazed at, uh, I mean, they're, they're very, very prescriptive about how they're filming. We've got like, these poor second ADs with actual meter-long stick going, ho, oh, hey, ho, oh, and then jumping in. Um, but it is amazing, like that Martin McCarty was saying there about the tennis ball acting and, and, and all that stuff. It's amazing that they're still making television, so it just shows how the creative industry have just risen to the challenge. Yeah, right, the time has come. Yes, Are you ready to announce the winner? Yes, can I quickly actually thank the BAFTA team for including Richard Rankin in that uh, Outlander clip because he said backstage <laughs> if he's not in the clip, you'd kneecap me. So He's right behind you thank waiting. Thank you, BAFTA. I know he's waiting there with a hammer. <laughs> okay, here we go. The winner of the BAFTA Scotland Audience Award is... Outlander! With a, with a hammer. <laughs>
We're going to have a look at the uh, a speech to... Uh, we're going to look right now at an accepted speech before we welcome Richard onto the stage. Hi, I'm Meryl Davis, one of the executive producers on Outlander. On behalf of the entire Outlander team, I'm so excited to be accepting the audience award from the Scottish Baptists. This award is even more special because it's voted on by the fans, and we have the best fans in the world. I want to thank our amazing cast, our talented crew, and our incredible writers and producers. And most of all, I want to thank the fans, who have been amazing and supportive over the last five seasons. Thank you again. Sanjava. <laughs> and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Richard is here. Woo! Congratulations. Is this mine? Uh, no. Is this mine? Can I take this? No, no, you can't touch. Don't touch it. I'm not touched anything. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Something really, I don't know good. what to say. I was only told about this like five minutes ago. I have no idea what to say. Although it does seem quite fitting. I should pick this up, but I can't pick this up, given the graft and the performance that I put in in season five. We've got a bigger one waiting for you backstage, that's why. Yes, you do, you do. <laughs> I know you'd be there for me. No, listen, this, this one... Um, Amazing. This one's for the fans. I think this one really is for the fans. They do say that we have the best fans out there, the Outlander fans, and I think this is testament to that. I think Marl pretty much covered everything. Um, I just want to say on behalf of the Outlander team, from me, from Sam, from Katrina, huge big thank you. We appreciate the support and we're very honoured with this award this year. So thank you very much. Before you go, though, I can't not ask you where you are with it. What's going on with the new series? Can What's you tell going anything? With, me, with season six and all that. Well, obviously, I've been, I've dove deep into the, the scripts of season six, which we are uh, in production with at the moment. And uh, it's not that I haven't read them yet, Edith. <laughs> it's not that I don't know what's going on because I do, <laughs> because I take my craft, my work very seriously. It's just that I can't tell you. Obviously. Not in front of the audience, anyway. Obviously. But as soon as we're cut here, I'll, I'll give you all the information that you need, that okay. you want. Great, yeah. Don't go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> now we honour 